2018 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Review. Even orgasm is got an extravagance badge, the Sprinter can be a willing and able workhorse. If watching this, either curious as to well-designed and executed cargo and passenger vans, or perhaps you had no idea that Mercedes-Benz, purveyor of luxury cars, also produced big box on wheels. But at any rate, you might find that the 2018 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter is surely an interesting vehicle. Commercial vehicles ought to be tough and durable. But they also should be comfortable and easy to make use of because the individuals who operate them sit and work with them for many hours on end. The 2018 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter covers both aspects admirably. The Sprinter has been shown to be well-built and intuitive to work with, also it provides great visibility and maneuverability. The back 50% of the van, where all the work gets done, can be found in multiple configurations. There are two wheelbase choices with assorted matching body lengths. The long wheelbase model is additionally available with a protracted body for more cargo volume. Two roof heights can be found. You can even equip it with all-wheel drive. In addition to your Sprinter's basic configurations, you may also select up fitter options to benefit hauling cargo or keeping passengers comfortable. What's inaccessible for 2018 will be the four-cylinder engine, just the turbocharged 3.0-litre diesel V6 can be acquired this year. Most will see its performance perfectly adequate for hauling the Sprinter or longer to 5,000 pounds of trailer. Should the Sprinter be too big for your requirements, Mercedes-Benz also creates a much smaller van referred to as the Metris. It shares a similar doital attitude and quality construction, however in a more compact package. What's new? The 2018 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter drops the four-cylinder engine, making the six-cylinder turbo diesel your only choice. To adhere to federal regulations, a rear-view camera is standard on just about the cab chassis model. Laminated glass will probably be used in all side windows, and rear windows use tinted glass as standard on all models. All 3500 series Sprinters comes in dual rear wheel configuration, while all Sprinter passenger and crew vans comes in the high roof configuration. The super high roof options no longer available. You have in all probability very specific requirements for the work van. Whether transporting the VIP passengers, hauling pallets of cargo, or outfitting your tall roof. Long wheelbase model while using four-wheel drive system for many overlanding, there is a sprinter yes it's true for the job. Just match the configuration for your needs. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter is really a full-size van easily obtainable in cargo, passenger and crew configurations. The cargo van features two seats and also a large cargo bay as the crew van adds a three-place bench for five-passenger seating. The passenger van can transport up to 12 passengers. All vans appear in two wheelbase lengths. A high roof is standard on passenger and crew, whilst the cargo can be found with the standard roof or possibly a high roof. Sprinters are split into regular 2,500 and heavy-duty 3,500 models. All are powered using a 3.0-litre diesel V6 188 horsepower, 325 pound-feet of torque along with a 5-speed automatic. Four-wheel drive is optional on many configurations. Standard equipment within the cargo van offered in standard and extended length body styles and 2,500 and 3,500 configurations includes 16-inch steel wheels. Hill start assist, a passenger side sliding rear door, a wood cargo floor, 270 degree opening rear doors, AC, a tilt handless coping tire, a rear view camera, a 5.8 inch center display, and also a sound system with the auxiliary audio jack along with a USB port. 
the crew van available only in 2500 configuration gets exactly the same standard equipment but adds a second row bench seat and adjacent side windows. The passenger van also only for sale in 2500 configuration is comparable, however it features three rows of rear seats, rear interior trim and tinted rear windows. The options list is lengthy, but highlights include 16-inch alloy wheels, a driver's side sliding rear door, a heavy-duty suspension, front and back parking sensors, xenon headlights, fog lights, rear door windows with wipers and washers, an active safety plus package of high-touch safety aids, automatic headlights and wipers, a heated windshield, heated power mirrors, cruise control, a rear cabin heater. Upgraded front seats, heated front seats as well as a navigation system. Cargo and crew vans is usually equipped with driver compartment partitions, a roof fan, a limited rear sunroof, roof rails and other interior storage options. The passenger van might be equipped with rear AC. Many of these optional items can be obtained within packages too. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically also comes in multiple versions which can be fundamentally similar. The S within this review use our test of your Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 2500-144WB passenger W high roof turbo 3.0 liters V6 diesel, 5 speed automatic, RWD. The turbocharged 6 cylinder diesel engine is often a bit slow to get approximately speed. Low speed maneuvers create some challenges due to this big rig. Acceleration This 6,000 pound van did 06 so miles per hour in 11.5 seconds. The 3.0 litre turbo diesel V6 doesn't feel powerful off of the line, but once approximately speed it's pretty simple to maintain the truck's forward momentum. Braking the Sprinter slowed from 60 miles per hour in 138 feet during our emergency panic stop test. The brakes remain consistent and feel as well as during testing, to us out for the road in typical driving. Steering The steering is precise thinking about the van's purpose as being a pure people mover. The effort is heavy enough to feel steady around the highway yet light enough for parking area duty. Handling. The Sprinter is fairly narrow considering how tall it really is. Taking sharp turns at speed isn't this van's forte. An assertive stability control system lends a hand when it senses the van going beyond the brink. Drivability. Despite its dimensions, this conference room on wheels is simple to drive. Tight parking lots can establish some stress for the size along with the modest backup camera is just somewhat helpful. Comfort Passenger comfort is really a priority for that sprinter. Occupants may find ample space to watch out. The seats are reasonably comfortable over long distances. The ride quality improves since the passenger head count increases. Seat comfort The driving position is upright. However the seats are happy even during longer drives. The rear seats provide ample leg, hip and headroom. Ride comfort. Without question, rear most passengers will discover the sprinters ride bouncier as opposed to runners up front. Still, it's perfectly acceptable whether empty or fully occupied. Noise and vibration. Our test van's additional insulation was created for warmth, nevertheless it doubles as sound insulation. Some wind and tire noise reaches the cabin, particularly when running empty. Interior The Sprinter offers a lot of room for folks and cargo. Driver aids exist to assist maneuver the van in tight quarters. But parking still remains an issue with such an enormous vehicle. Is useful. All controls are at your fingertips of the driver and functionally intuitive. This is definitely an older version on the Mercedes Cummins system, therefore, 
The layout is not difficult. Getting and jetting out. The Sprinter features a step leading with it, which can be necessary considering it sits so high from the ground. The doors are large, so some people may find them somewhat heavy to start and close. Roominess. The front seats fit most physical structure fine. Farther back, the big bench seats offer many leg and headroom. Only then does hip room get tight. Visibility. The massive windows, an optional parking aid system and also a rear view camera function as needed driver aids. That said, you will still find several blind spots with this particular large van. Quality. The construction on our test sprinter was commendable. We didn't hear any squeaks or rattles. It was solid and true to a level of building we expect from Mercedes-Benz. Utility. Especially in cargo or crew configuration, this can be one in the most utilitarian vans available. Whether owning a contracting business or perhaps a professional mountain biking team, the Sprinter will carry your stuff. But some rival vans can tow more. Technology. This is concerning as basic the way it gets. Fears an optional turn off the Millennium navigation system over a small 5.8 inch display. Bluetooth phone and audio streaming, USB along with an iPod interface, a standard.